my fellow chipmunks. This is Chipmunk Speaks, aka Alura Gonzalez, and I'd like to talk to you about the last part of the Family Matters series, Neglectful Parenting. Why should you listen to me? Well, I'm glad you asked. I have a bachelor's in psychology and I'm getting my master's in social work. As a side note, chipmunks, the summer heat is terrible out there, so here's your lovely reminder to hydrate. Heat stroke is no joke. Stay safe. Back to the video. You can skip this part 2 minutes and 50 seconds in if you want, but moving on. The four types of parenting styles are described as the following. Number one, authoritarian. The authoritarian parenting style is what I would call the helicopter parent. They are very strict, what they say goes, little consideration to the child's social, emotional, and behavioral needs, little responsiveness yet major part in demandingness. Number two, authoritative. The authoritative parent to me is the ideal parent type. Rules are set with the expectation of them being followed. Not so much a gentle parenting style as permissive is, but guidelines are given to the child to set real expectations. They are also open to communication and help the child develop their social emotional well-being without necessarily wanting to be the child's friend. More so, they parent with clear rules, high responsiveness, high demandingness. Number three, permissive. Permissive parenting is one of the three major parenting types as defined by Diana Baumrind in her 1960s groundbreaking study. It's characterized by lack of structure, consistency, and limits when it comes to discipline and very little interference on the parent's behalf. High responsiveness, little demandingness. The permissive parenting traits are the following. Give few and or inconsistent rules. Prefer to be a friend to their child rather than an authority figure. Consider their child's opinion in large decisions. Emphasize freedom over responsibilities. Allow for natural rather than imposed consequences. And aren't overly concerned over, over safety, seeing risky situations as learning opportunities. The cons towards using permissive parenting style is that, in general, rules and respect are intimately connected and one cannot exist without the other, says Jeff Nalen, an award-winning licensed clinical psychologist and founder of Paradigm Treatment Centers. Lastly, number four, uninvolved neglectful. This parenting style to me is ultimately the worst one besides authoritarian. Authoritarians set high expectations without support of the child's emotional well-being, yet neglectful doesn't really have any sort of re regulation for the child. This style gives the child full reign over the circumstances and future without any real consequences given. The child could fully be a threat to society with how the parent may, well, in this case, not interact with their child. A child that has no guidelines may very well be a threat to themselves. Little responsiveness and demandingness. On to the film analysis. This film analysis is on Matilda the 1996 original film. The characters in this film are as follows. Matilda, Mr. and Mrs. Wormwood, M Matilda's mother and father, Miss Honey, Michael, Matilda's older brother, and Miss Trunchbull, Matilda's principal. In summary, Matilda is a very unique child born to some rather unequivalent parents who throughout the film dismiss her at every point of interaction. She, in turn, finds her own niche, and soon enough, her own powers to help out her teacher, Miss Honey, get back what was right, always rightfully hers from the mean principal, Miss Trunchbull. As we can see in the beginning of the film, Matilda is already neglected from the start. At timestamp 1 minute and 27 seconds, her father puts baby Matilda in the trunk without even strapping her down to a seat and sways side to side as the Wormwood family go to their home. Once home, at timestamp 2 minutes and 15 seconds, she was left in the car. As stated by the narrator, at timestamp 3 minutes, Matilda, at the age of 2 years old, had learned how to take care of herself. As she got older, her parents seemed to be even more out of tune with her as the movie progressed. Timestamp 7 minutes 40 seconds, her father asked her how she got so many books and she was only four years old, but was corrected when Matilda said she's six years old. 
This instance shows how long it had been since her parents interacted with her. One day, Matilda, her older brother Michael, and her father visited her dad's car dealership. While telling and showing Michael and Matilda the way Mr. Wormwood sells his cars, she says her dad's a crook. We get this line from her father at timestamp 16 minutes 13 seconds. Quote unquote, I'm smart, you're dumb, I'm big, you're little, I'm right, you're wrong. End quote. At another timestamp of 20 minutes and 12 seconds, Mr. Wormwood gets flustered with Matilda and makes her watch TV instead of letting her read her book. In her frustration, Matilda accidentally blows up the TV timestamp 21 minutes 14 seconds. Over the course of the film, Matilda learns she has powers and uses them to scare away Miss Trunchbull from the school. At the end, the best thing that Mr. and Mrs. Wormwood do for Matilda is let her be adopted by Miss Honey at timestamp 1 hour 30 minutes 34 seconds. As neglectful they had been the entire film, at this moment, they were still thinking about themselves but rather gave her the opportunity to be with someone who truly, in her mom, mom's words, understood her. Overall, neglectful parenting is one that I think people should have the CPS called on them. That's Child Protection Services. It's absolutely worse than authoritarian parenting by not caring at all. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Otherwise, chipmunks, have a grand evening, morning and night. <laughs>